looking for any information, no matter how minor, about Joyce Vincent. The reporters always get asked, oh yeah, what's the best story you've ever done or the worst story? And this is in my clutch of ones that you will just remember through a lifetime. Mr. Besson, we have a repossession order! We knew pretty quickly that it was out of the ordinary. She wasn't alcoholic, she didn't smoke, she didn't take drugs. Miss Vincent! Miss Vincent! They said she died around December 2003. The only way she could be identified was by comparing dental records. It was so horrendous. She was found in front of her television that was still on for so many years. Three years and nobody's come looking for you. You have this mystery that's suddenly thrown up and you just want to know more. You know, if you had to meet Aretha Franklin, you know this woman's a star. You know, that's certain something. Joyce had that. She has a very good voice. People would gravitate towards her. Very exotic, beautiful, everybody fancied her. Everything about her was immaculate. She just reminded me of somebody that I would like to be. People said she looked like Whitney Houston. I thought she was more attractive than that. <laughs> Somebody must have said, hey, we haven't heard from her for two months, six months, a year. Watch me fall from grace. You'd like to think that everyone's got someone. Disappear with no trace. I think about her a lot, really. Just holding her, actually. Holding her. I just can't imagine her dying alone. How did she get herself into that situation? How come no one knew? If you laid it out in a book form, you'd be thinking, this got to be fiction. But this is real life.